Well, look at this. We've got some great bottling being done here. And no, this is not illegal. Making some vanilla extract and it's great for holiday gift giving. So you get these nice bottles and now... This is definitely a long project. So this has to sit for at least six months if not more. But I prefer these swing top bottles. I like the ones that have the ceramic uh, tops. But you want something that is, very, is sealable and you get just vodka. And you get the cheapest vodka that you can get. It's not, doesn't have to be top shelf vodka. Because what you're really going to be doing is infusing the vodka with the, with, a, with a vanilla. So I have a combination of both grade A and grade B Madagascar bourbon vanilla pods. And you see how I'm just putting them in there. And this vanilla pod is nice and oily and pliable. And what you want to do is you cut open the pod and you kind of crack it open and inside there there's those millions of little seeds and that's the vanilla seed and that's where all the flavor is. So you take the back end of your knife and you kind of scrape it, see? Don't waste the pod. You put that pod in the vanilla extract bottle, right? And then you put in those vanilla seeds. And they'll eventually just infuse the entire um, vodka to be that extract that you want. Right now I'm cutting up the grade A pods, prying open that pod so I can get to the seeds and I can do that scraping. So if you ever have something with real vanilla in it and you see those black seeds, those flecks, that's what you're going for. That's when you know you've got real vanilla in there. How many go into each bottle? Depends on how strong you want it to be, but they usually talk about one ounce of beans per every cup or eight ounces of vodka. So I'm just keeping putting in all these ones, trying to evenly distribute all my, my pods. These are the grade A ones. Again, grade A's. And I got these vanilla pods through various baking supply places. Um, but there are a couple different kinds of vanilla beans. Um, there's the top of the line ones, which are the Madagascar bourbon ones. And then there's the Tahitian vanilla ones. Then there's also Mexican vanilla. Um, and those are different varieties, but generally they think that the Madagascar beans are the top of the line. Now if these are grade B beans, also Madagascar bourbon, but do you notice how they're not quite as oily, not quite as plump, they're still pretty pliable. Okay, Grade B beans, they say don't even bother uh, trying to scrape them, and then you'll just kind of cut them into like inch long pieces like so, plus or minus a little bit. Then we just feed them right into those bottles. You want to be able to have to, these bottles sit in a cool, dark place and just let the flavor and the seeds and the oils of these pods permeate that vanilla. And in six months, one year, you'll have beautiful vanilla that you can give. Whether you give someone an entire bottle of this, which is a pretty awesome, which is a pretty awesome gift. Or you can repackage these up, strain out all the seeds and pods, and you'll have some beautiful vanilla. Even better than what you can buy at the store okay. for a fraction of the cost. So these are pint bottles, and in six months we'll have six pints of vanilla extract mm -hmm. that can be used for all kinds of good cooking and baking and uh, flavorful.
technically, if you, let's say this was my extract bottle, and it was a very dark color after it's finally extracted all the vanilla goodness out of there, technically, what you can do is you just keep filling this vodka, bottle with vodka and just keep reusing these beans. This is alcohol. Nothing's going to grow in there. And you can just keep just permeating that um, with new vodka, add more beans. And it's it becomes, endless. It becomes perpetual. More and more intense. Exactly. How interesting. Mm hmm. These well, thank ones, you. Uh, these ones even came with some really cool little labels, so I can write my labels on there with this little chalkboard pen. And that's Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Now, where did you get the where did you get the bottles? I bought them on Amazon. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, and this is another great craft that uh, will be a hit to anyone you give it to. You can flavor vodkas with anything you like. If you are a person who like to have black pepper vodka for maybe a really great spicy Bloody Mary, you do the same thing. Fill it with vodka, put in a quarter cup, half cup of peppercorns in there, just let it infuse. Same thing if you wanted to do that with some cinnamon, cinnamon flavored vodka, put a stick or two of cinnamon in here, again let it sit for maybe three months, cinnamon flavored vodka. Wow. Infinite. Well, thank you so much for this very interesting project. Happy crafting.